Welcome to Kiwi Culture, your guide to New Zealand life and New Zealand language. Today's Kiwi clip shares five things you will definitely find in New Zealand English. Number one, love it or hate it, is up talking. So in general, with yes and no questions in English, the voice goes up at the end to show that you're asking a question. Have you seen my keys? Is this your pen? Did you see my wallet? When you're not asking a question, the voice doesn't usually go up at the end. For example, I'm from Christchurch. I have two brothers. My favourite colour is green. In up talking, the voice still goes up at the end, even when someone isn't asking a question. So that would change things to I'm from Christchurch. I have two brothers. My favourite colour is green. These examples are exaggerated a little bit, but the idea is the same. Up talking is quite common for some speakers in New Zealand. And this can be confusing because if you're not accustomed to it, you don't always know if someone just made a statement or asked you a question. Excuse me, how do I get to the bus station from here? Oh, it's just over there. Some people really don't like up talking, but the fact remains that if you visit New Zealand, you will probably hear it at some stage. Number two is sweet as. This is a popular phrase in New Zealand that is used in many situations to say that things are all good and there's no drama. It can mean that's cool, that's okay, that's awesome, you're welcome, or no worries. For example, hey, can I borrow your pen? Yes, yeah, sweet as. Do you mind if we meet a little later? I'm super busy today. Yep, sweet as. I am so sorry, I completely forgot about the gym. Nah, sweet as. Thanks heaps for dinner. Sweet as. But the question is, sweet as what? Sweet as chocolate, sweet as cake, sweet as ice cream. The answer is sweet as nothing. It's just sweet as. And this happens a lot within New Zealand. For example, it's freezing in here. Yeah, it's cold as. Whoa, that's so cheap. I know, it's cheap as. That movie went for three hours. Yeah, it was long as. In these situations, it's the same as saying, it's really cold, that's really cheap, and the movie was really long. Number three is putting the sound E at the end of nouns. It's very popular in casual conversation to add the sound E to the end of many nouns. This makes words such as brekkie for breakfast, a barbecue is a barbie, Vegetables are veggies, chocolates are chockies, biscuits are bickies, sunglasses are sunnies, cardigans are cardies, and for people, cousins are cousies, relatives are rallies, surfers are surfies, truck drivers are truckies, flatmates are flatties, and very young children are sometimes called littlies because they are so small. Christmas can be Chrissy, presents or gifts can be prezies, a hundred is sometimes one hundy, your little finger is your pinky, mosquitoes are mozzies, and if you don't go to work or school because you're pretending to be sick, that's called pulling a sickie. Lastly, when you don't know the name for something, you can always call it a thing or a thingy. Number four is the little word A. This word comes up quite a bit in New Zealand. 
A is also used in Canada, but in different situations. Here are some examples of when you will hear A in Kiwi English. Seeking confirmation for a question or suggestion. You're going to the movies, eh? Let's meet at 5pm, eh? In this situation, A means right. Emphasis or confirming a statement. Do you like shopping? No, I'm not really into that, eh? I didn't know you were going to Fiji for the holidays. Yeah, we leave next week, eh? Are you sure it's not too heavy? Nah, I'm alright, eh? You can also use the word A by itself. This usually means pardon, huh, what, really, or it shows that the speaker is surprised. We have to get up at 5am tomorrow. A? A, I can't hear you. They broke up last week. Oh, A. In general, to say A by itself instead of pardon is very casual, so it's best to use it in situations with people that you're close with. Number five is the very famous phrase, yeah, nah. Does it mean yes? Does it mean no? Does it mean maybe? Or does it mean nothing? That all depends on the situation. It's difficult to make specific rules about yena, but in general it's used either to add more flow to what's being said, or as a way to make language softer and more polite. We New Zealanders aren't always the most direct people, so if we want to say no to an invitation for example, we might use yena to be more gentle. Here are some examples. To add flow to the conversation, especially when continuing after a pause or break in the conversation. How was your holiday? It was so amazing. I had the best time. Oh cool. Yeah now we went swimming every morning and hiking in the afternoon and all the food was fantastic. It was so relaxing. Assuring someone. Are you sure you don't mind feeding the cat while we're away? It isn't too inconvenient? Yeah, nah, that's absolutely fine. Declining something. Hey, do you want to come to the movies with us? Yeah, nah, I'm okay, thanks. Or accepting something. Hey, do you want to come to the movies with us? Yeah, nah, that'd be awesome. Not giving a clear answer. Hey, do you want to come to the movies with us? Yeah, nah, maybe. I'll see how it goes. I'm pretty busy this week. Although, maybe is often a polite no in New Zealand. Politely correcting someone. She lives in Dunedin. Yeah, nah, she's been in Wellington for six months now, eh? Politely disagreeing. I think we should get two bottles of wine for this evening. Yeah, nah, I think we'll need more than that for 10 people. Those are five things you will definitely come across in New Zealand English. Have a listen and you will hear examples of them in everyday life. See you next time on Kiwi Culture.